What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video, we're gonna check out some awesome battles submitted to the channel by member of the community, EW Inky. I'm gonna guess that's how they say their name, but Delphox here on the team. Really cool, interesting Pokemon that we never really see in the Great League whatsoever, but in the Love Cup, it has a bit of play. Fire Spin, Psychic, Flame Charge, has good coverage on those bugs and Charmers, um, with Psychic as well being a hard-hitting move. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this team and these battles, let's go and get right into it. Okay, getting into the first battle here. We have Metacham on the lead versus Shadow Electrode. Gonna be an interesting lead matchup right here as both Pokemon doing neutral damage to each other, but discharges, I imagine, are gonna be hurting. They're gonna go ahead and let the first one go through. This is from a Shadow Electrode. Discharge, ton of neutral damage right there, so I think this is actually a XL Metacham on this side, but we will see an Ice Punch now come through. Will we see the first shield of this game? We do. The Electrode is deciding to shield, and Metacham is gonna go ahead and swap out into the Slowbro now to catch the charge move. This is gonna hurt. It's so much damage. 50% of the HP from Slowbro now gone, and they will be able to farm down with Poison Jab, but they do have energy, and they do have shield advantage. Let's see what is gonna come out onto the field. It's gonna be an Aerodos. My goodness, Psychic is gonna be doing super effective damage. So, obviously, the Aerodos needs to be very prepared to shield the potential Psychic, and they do, but they gotta get off a charge move quickly to get this Slowbro out of there, but this really sets up the Delphox to sweep as it has access to Fire Spin, flame charge and psychic so slow bro goes down right there we do see a loma mola come in this is not looking good actually they're gonna go ahead and go for the psychic to do as much damage as they can and game one might actually be a loss right here let's see if they can pull it off they're gonna have to swap out into medicham which they do defense fallen that is actually huge here for them as medicham now has loaded energy with a psychic this is gonna be taking out the loma mola and Aerodos now is going to farm down, but can Delphox get to the Flame Charge in time? It's going to be an incredible race. Here comes... Oh, they have two shields still. Delphox is actually going to be able to sweep as these Cross Poisons now will not be able to land. And they should be able to get to the Flame Charge in time. So that, Battlers, is going to be a good game. Very well played. I completely forgot that they did still have access to two shields right there. I thought we were about to see the Aerodos sweep with cross poisons. But Delphox coming in with the flame charge and taking out the Aerodos. Good battle. All right, moving into the next battle. We have... Metacham on the lead versus Macargo. Very positive lead right here with that counter damage. And we will see the mirror fight come in. So they're going to go ahead and come in with Slowbro. Slowbro now doing neutral damage with these poison jabs as well as Sludge Bomb. Metacham's got to watch out for it. But they need to watch out for the Psychic right here, which does land, does quite a bit of neutral damage. And they get a defense drop, which is actually huge for the Metacham in this situation. As if they have access to Ice Punch, it's probably going to be enough damage to take them out. So first Sludge Bomb is shielded there by the Metacham. Now it's going to be a race. Here comes the next charge move. Is it an ice punch? Is it a power-up punch? They're going to shield and it was a power-up punch. That is a good shield bait from the Metacham. But here comes another Sludge Bomb right here. Even if they do get the, um, or even if they do get the final shield and Metacham finishes this off, which they don't actually. Delphox with energy would have been crazy. But we do see Electrode now come in. So, obviously, Delphox is going to come into the Electrode right here. Wanting to keep that positive matchup with Metacham versus Macargo as counter damage is just so oppressive to it because of that rock typing. But Electrode really firing back with that discharge. And we see the Metacham Macargo swap back in. And this is going to be interesting as this is a rock throw Macargo, which means it's doing absolutely no damage with these fast moves because of the fighting typing. But here comes an Ice Punch. No shield as well on the Macargo and they will be able to fully counter down. So Electrode has a very uphill battle in front of it as Metacham has a lot of HP and a lot of energy still and a shield left. So Electrode looking to try to get this Metacham off the field as quickly as they can, but they are met with a CMP tie and a shield right here to stop that discharge. I don't think Electrode has enough energy in order to close this game out as it's going to need to be able to get to two discharges, one to take out Metacham and one to take out the Delphox. And they're going to swap into Delphox very quickly and go for the flame charge to get this electrode off of the field coming in with the subtle low HP boom and that is going to be a good battle very well played all right moving into the next battle 
we have Medicham on the lead versus Macargo again. Okay, hopefully it's not the same battle. I put it in twice. And we do see Electrode come in this time. Um, so this is going to be interesting. They're going to go ahead and look to go for Sludge Bomb as quickly as they can. But thankfully this Slowbo, the Galarian one, is not part Water Typing, which would be a terrible matchup here. It is Poison Psychic. So only neutral damage now from these discharges. But this Electrode is locked and loaded. Is this going to be the Discharge? And is, you know, it's obviously going to be the Discharge. But I was wondering if it was going to be the Hyper Beam, I should say. And they are not able to flip the game around. Electrode wins the mid game right there. So Delphox is going to come in and they are going to need to shield. They're, nope, they're going to. Oh, it's a hyper beam! Oh, boom! Delphox still takes out the Electrode though. So Electrode doing exactly what it needs to in order to win that game right there. But Medicham now is in a fight for its life. It has two shields versus an opponent Medicham, Mirror Fight, and a Macargo still in the back. The first Psychic gets shielded, so they are obviously very concerned about this Medicham. And honestly, with two shields, they might just be able to pull it off. They do shield a power-up punch, though, which is very unfortunate right here. As if they keep going for power... Oh, there's a bit of lag. No, they're still going. They're still going. Weak connection here. Oh, that is unfortunate. This is the last thing you want. Um, so, will they shield this, though? They're going to go ahead and shield. It was the Psychic, so there's actually a great shield. And we do see the Macargo now come in. So, Metacham's going to go ahead and go for Psychic here to do as much damage as they can. And Counter now, hopefully, is going to be enough. They're going to have to farm down because Macargo is so close to a charge move. They have to throw the Ice Punch here, though. Is this going to be enough damage to take out the Macargo? No, it is not. Macargo is able to get to the charge move. And I think this is going to be a good game. It's going to be the overheat. Boom! Metacham goes down, and that is a good battle. Very well played. Man, that hyper beam to the Delphox, though. Woo! All right, we got an another Macargo here on the lead, so we do see a Slow King now come in with Water Gun. Very interesting. That could have been really bad if it was Confusion, but going for the Sludge Bomb now to try to get the Slow King out of there. Um, so we'll have to see if they decide to shield in this situation. They are going to go ahead and shield. They want to get off their own charge move as well. Let's see. They're going to go ahead and shield the Psychic. Yeah, they need to be able to win this mid-game matchup in order to properly align that Metacham to Macargo. But here comes another Sludge Bomb in this fight. I honestly think Slowbro is going to be able to beat the Slow King um, because of the fast move damage if this goes to two shields, which it's looking to go into the two shields right here. So they should be able to win this one um, and keep the positive switch advantage while also having a lot of energy from farming down the Slow King. Unless we see a swap right here. No, we're not going to see a swap. They will be able to farm down. They have loaded energy and we are going to see the Macargo come in and they are actually able to get to the Psychic just before they went down to the fast move. So here comes the Psychic now for quite a bit of neutral damage and the Macargo will farm down. Metacham's going to come in and we will see a swap out into Wigglytuff. So Delphox is going to make quick work of the Wigglytuff, resisting those charms and having access to Flame Charge and Fire spin is a devastating um, combo here to an unshielded Wigglytuff. So the Flame Charge does land. Fire Spin should be enough and the opponent actually, yeah, does decide to surrender. Good game. Very well played. All right. Moving into the next one. We have... Oh, a shiny Slowbro right there. That actually looks beautiful. That's a cool shiny. They're going to go ahead and swap right away into their own Slowbro. So it is a Slowbro fight off right here. Confusion doing quite a bit of neutral damage in this matchup. And they're going to go ahead and go for the Sludge Bomb. Thankfully, this Slowbro can gain energy very quickly with those Poison Jabs and fire off these charge moves in order to set themselves up with a potential shield advantage. Now, they do have the weak connection... Um, which is very unfortunate. They're going to have to shield right here if they want to get this switch, and they will be stopping that Psychic right there and getting to one more Sludge Bomb. Now, what could be in the back? It is going to be an Eridos in the back catching this charge move right here. This would have been great if they could have thrown the Psychic as that went unshielded. That's a shiny Eridos as well. What a huge flex. They're going to get farmed down, but not before they can get to a Sludge Bomb in time. Delphox is going to need to come in and absolutely destroy this thing. So they actually do get a shield. So shiny Eridos, that is so cool as well. This has got to be a triple shiny team right here. Maybe a triple purple team. What else could be in the back? 
Um, they're going to go ahead and shield that cross poison. Look to fi um, farm down with fire spin, which they will be able to now. So another cross poison likely coming through. They might have gone for lunge for the debuff. No, they went for cross poison for the damage. And that's actually a lot of damage. And the Erdos got the boost as it went down. But we will see Slowbro come in. And Metacham now is going to go ahead and catch the charge move. There might just be another Pokemon weak in the back to fire. So they're going to take the Psychic there for neutral damage and try their best to farm down. And it's actually going to be a Metacham in the back. So think Things are about to get very interesting because Delphox does have a lot of loaded energy as well and this Psychic is going to land for 50% HP but it is in fact a triple shiny team. Huge flex there by the opponent. You gotta respect it. But here comes the potential. It is going to be the Psychic. That takes out the Metacham. They have loaded energy right here. They're going to have to go for Flame Charge. No, they didn't throw it. Oh, this is going to be bad. It's going to be a power-up punch that does a bit of damage. They're going to try to farm down, and they go for Flame Charge now, but this might have been just a too much HP gone. Flame Charge is going to take out the Metacham, and they will be able to get to the... F oh, they survived with one HP in a dream right there. I don't know if you guys saw that confusion damage, but Delphox able to hang on and get off the Flame Charge here to win the battle, so that is going to be a good game, very well played. All right, moving into the next one. We have Metacham on the lead versus Dredagon. So this is going to be interesting. They're deciding to swap out right away into Aerodos, and they're going to be met with a Delphox. But remember, we saw how much damage Cross Poison can do, and Aerodos can spam it. So here comes the first one. They actually went for a lunge. Oh, man, the lunge actually lands, and that did so much damage. They're going to go ahead and go for Flame Charge now, likely getting a shield here from the opponent and they do so fire spins now are going to start ripping and they oh man this is very dangerous territory as they need to stop this cross poison right here it's actually another lunge so the lunge versus flame charge here oh my goodness hopefully they can still win no they were not able to farm down in time they're gonna have to give up their final shield in order to maintain switch advantage and they do stop that cross poison but my goodness that lunge did quite a bit i was not expecting that much damage that would have been cool if it was Megahorn, though. That would have one shot for sure. We will see the swap right away into the Slowbro Mirror now, um, which is going to be interesting. They're going to go ahead and go for Sludge Bomb here, hoping to do as much chip damage as they can and try to force a shield here from the opponent. And they do get the shield that is actually huge now for them, as it's going to be up to Metacham, really, to close this game out. So the Psychic will land, nearly takes out the Slowbro, and I don't think it can get to another charge move in time. This is going to be extremely close, and they swap right away into the Dredagon. And Metacham now is going to have to come in and farm down. But the Switch Clock is not off. Dredagon is going to be able to farm down with a Dragon Tail. Metacham is now going to be able to come in. And remember that Delphox loaded its energy as well. So they will be able to farm down. They need to get to the Psychic game time. But Slowbro is locked and loaded with energy. And it is going to be the Psychic there for a lot of neutral damage. But I think Metacham might just be able to do this as Psychic here. Plus the Delphox with loaded energy in the back. So I wouldn't be surprised if we do see a swap. And there's the swap right there going for the Psychic now in order to win this battle. So that is going to be a good game. Very well played. Delphox looking very strong with loaded energy to sweep team so far today. All right. Moving into the next battle here. We have... Metacham versus Metacham. You love to see it. This is going to be a very interesting fight. They actually decide to swap into Wigglytuff right away, and they will be met with a Delphox with the Fire Spin and Flame Charge. But Wigglytuff really doesn't care. Do you see how much damage the charm is doing to a resisted um, Delphox right here? They decide to shield as well, so this is actually going to be interesting. I don't think Delphox can actually win this game. Wigglytuff is going to be able to fully farm down, which is very dangerous. Oh man, they're going to have to come... Oh, they decide to come in with Metacham right here, looking to soak the charge move. But oh, this is dangerous. Is there is there going to be another Charmer in the back? That is going to be my guess. They're going to go ahead and farm down. So they have one-to-one -one shields, they have energy advantage, and we are met with another Charmer in the back. So saving the Slowbro is looking very nice right now for them. They're going to go ahead and go for the Psychic, which it lands. They swap into Slowbro, and now it's Slowbro versus Metacham. Poison Jab and Sludge Bomb versus Counter and Psychic. Let's see how this plays out. 
they go ahead and go for the first sludge bomb here it does get the first shield from metacham so this is going to be a very tight end game right here as this could be a shield bait they decide to no shield and it was the psychic which is very unfortunate hopefully they can get to the sludge bomb in time which they can and hopefully this does enough neutral damage to take out the metacham it does not. Metacham is able to hold on, but able to get to the charge move as well. They're going to go ahead and let this go and look to try to win with their own Metacham, even though it is weak to... Um, oh, actually, they decide to undercharge it, so they're going to swap right away. And Metacham here might just be able to take it with Ice Punch, and they do just in time. So that it's... Oh, and they surrendered right on it. That is going to be a good battle. Very well played. Okay. Moving into the next one, we have Metacham on the lead versus Talonflame. Okay, so not the best of lead matchups right here. They're going to go ahead and swap into the Slowbro, and the Talonflame is deciding to stay in. So here comes the first charge move. Is it going to be Brave Bird? They're going to no shield it. It is the Brave Bird here. Boom! One shots the Galarian Slowbro. Defense has fallen, and they're going to go ahead and come in with Metacham and counter down. As you guys can see, Talonflame's Brave Bird really destroyed its defenses right there, where even counter now is farming down the flying type Pokemon. So they do get a shield with Ice Punch as well. And let's see. Oh, the opponent lagged. Oh, no! They fully farmed down. Go Battle Lag strikes. Metacham would have taken it anyways. And we do see a Crustal come in. So they're going to go ahead and go for Psychic now um, for neutral damage here. And if it lands, it's going to be absolutely devastating. The Psychic does land right there. So something in the back might be weak to Crustal if this was the only counter they had to it besides Talonflame. And it is going to be a Scrafty in the back. So that's going to be a good game. Very well played. Unfortunate that Go Battle Lag struck right there. But either way, good battle. All right, moving to the next one. We got Metacham on the lead versus Talonflame again. Okay, rematch in some sense. But we will see Slowbro swapped in right away. And the Talonflame deciding to stay in. But they decide to bring in the Electrode now. And this is where things can get very dicey very quickly. Because Poison Jabs and Sludge Bomb, especially this, this far ahead on energy, can really start to force shields here. Now... They know Discharge is going to be coming. They know it's going to hurt, but can they survive? They're going to go ahead and shield. It was actually the foul play right there, so able to stop that. And now they need to go for the Sludge Bomb, looking to get the final shield from the opponent, which really, again, sets up that Delphox to sweep endgame with its hard-hitting charge move. So here comes another charge move, likely going to be another foul play. It could be Discharge as well. Either way, it's going to be enough to take it out. And they decide to shield it. They want to get this switch right here, and they will actually fully fall arm down but they actually then swap into metacham catching the charge move and saving energy on the slow bro so electrode goes down talonflame is going to be coming in and a brave bird is about to be devastating here comes a charge move this was a bit i think this is a bit quick i think this is just going to be a flame charge it is just a flame charge, which means Metacham can get to the Psychic in time, and this actually does quite a bit of neutral damage as all shields are down in this game. So Metacham now striking back against Talonflame and able to counter down right there versus the boosted Talonflame. Metacham is in the back. We will see the Delphox now come in and look to go probably for Psychic right here, I'd imagine. Um, yeah, they're going to go ahead and probably go for the Psychic here. Charge move now coming through from Metacham. Everything's going to be resisted here because of typings, but it still hurts, but they will get to the Psychic in time. And again, we saw Slowbro swap out with lots of loaded energy, so we will probably see the swap in right now, which we do, and going straight for the Sludge Bomb. So that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. Man, this team looks like a lot of fun. I'm quite jealous. I don't have uh, the Galarian Slowbro built up yet. All right, moving into the next battle here. We have Metacham on the lead versus Alomamola. So this is actually very good to see it on the lead um, as it gives Delphox a lot more wiggle room to sweep endgame potentially. So let's see how these battlers play it out. Metacham looking to go for the Psychic right away. Alomamola being so bulky as well can soak a Psychic right here easily so we may not see a shield, but we actually do see a shield. So that is actually a good block on Psychic as that is a lot of energy dumped into a shield. Here comes a charge move from Alomamola and it's just going to be a Psychic Fest today, I guess. Every Pokemon actually on this team does have Psychic, which is pretty interesting. But here comes another Psychic from Metacham. Will we see two shields now? from Oloma Mola. 
they do decide to go into double shield again with two shields down we will see a swap now into slow bro they're trying to save metacham because they may be reading something in the back is weak to counter so they do catch a psychic right there we will see electrode now come in and they are going to be getting hit <gasps> no will they sh they got a shield they got a shield yeah they got a shield right here they're going to go ahead and stop that discharge and look to overload a bit on energy before going for this next sludge bomb. So they will go for the sludge bomb now, taking out the electrode. Aloma Mola as well is energy dry, and we don't know what that final Pokemon is, but if it's Eridos, it's going to be hit with a Psychic. So they're going to go ahead and go for a sludge bomb now to take out Aloma Mola. And again, let's see what that final Pokemon is going to be. It is going to be a Aridos as well. So hopefully they can get to the charge move. They're going to swap into Metacham and go for Ice Punch right away. Now, Aridos is in a very unique position right here to win this game potentially with its energy. They got to manage it very well. So this is going to be, this is going to be extremely close. Cross Poison right here likely coming through. That does take out Metacham. But can they get to a Cross Poison versus Slowbro if it comes in? Oh man, this is going to be close. They're going to come in with Delphox now, looking to force energy right away from Eridos. And Eridos now going for what is likely going to be the cross poison here. No, they go for the, yeah, it is going to be the lunge. This is going to get extremely close. Eridos is going to have to shield, but Delphox actually just gets to the flame charge in time. So that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. I think if Eridos actually overloaded a bit versus that Medicham before the next Ice Punch, they could have potentially won this game. But um, either way, that was really, really good. So Medicham, Galarian, Slowbro, and Delphox, triple psychic team really fun team as well so hope you guys enjoyed today's video huge shout out again to e e ew inky for sharing this with us and like always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one